Hey, Razmir. You are cornered by a vicious, fire-breathing dragon. What do you do? I know, Dungeon Master. I give that dragon a stern talking to. A very lengthy lecture about how it needs to think about the consequences of its actions and how his behavior can affect others. You what? I'll roll the dice! I got a 19! <sighs> what happens? Okay, let's see. The dragon eats you and you die. Yep, that's it, you die. Aww. Now I'm sad. I guess one final issue of the show that I probably should address would be the character of Rainbow Dash. I know, it's gonna be so I know I joked earlier about how I called her the sporty, sorta lesbian pony, but that was just a little humor on my part. I don't want to spread any false rumors or start any sort of fake controversy that'll get Fox News all pissed off and then they'll want to ruin the show, blah 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 blah. Other than her being the sporty goofball tomboy of the group, there's no evidence whatsoever that she's actually a homosexual or anything like that. Calm down, everybody. Rise and shine, Rainbow Dash! It's a brand new day and we got a lot of pranking kids! Ooh. Morning, Pink! Gilda, this is my gal pal, Pinkie Pie. Hey, what's up? Pinky? this is my griffin friend, Gilda. What's a griffin? She's half eagle, half lion, and all awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What? Okay, hold up, hold up. You're in on the joke. Okay, come on. There's got to be an animator or a writer or a director who came up with this episode who's in on the joke. You're not fooling anyone. Come on, guys, come on. Okay, Gilda the Griffin here makes it way, way, way too easy to make jokes about Rainbow Dash being a lesbian, and it was already easy enough. But come on, she comes off as one of those clingy, possessive, bitchy girlfriends that never wants her gal pal to hang out with anyone else but her, and then she's a total snob and sleaze at parties. Is your idea of a good time? I've never met a lamer bunch of dweebs in all my life. And Pinkie Pie, you! You are Queen Lamo with your weak little party pranks. Did you really think you could make me lose my cool? Well, Dash and I have ten times as much cool as the rest of you put together. Come on, Dash. We're bailing on this pathetic scene. Come on, Rainbow Dash. I said we're leaving! Okay, sure, the episode ends with Rainbow Dash telling the Griffin to piss off, and they all learn a lesson about friendship or something, yada yada yada, blah blah blah, and the kids are all fine and dandy. In reality, I don't think the creators are trying to make some sort of big political statement about homosexuality or anything like that. Maybe, at the most, they were just trying to get a fan reaction out of the audience, and especially some of the older people watching at this point. <sighs> You know, I think that rainbow pony might be one of those fancy pants, whatchamacallit, lesbians. Huh. You think so? Eh. I don't know. Just a hunch. Why are we watching this show anyway? Um... I sort of lost a bet with my buddy Otacon. Uh, son, I am disappointed in you. Oh, Rainbow Dash, you don't have to hide your feelings from me. So, would you say this show is better than Dexter's Lab or the new Thundercats? No, no, I would not say that. Never say that. It's just okay. It proves that if you put time, talent, and effort into anything, you can make even the stupidest of ideas, like a show about talking rainbow-colored ponies, into something that's actually tolerable and decent. You like the ponies, don't you? Shut up. 
Okay, I'll admit it, the show's actually not that bad, and it's actually pretty creative and bright and fun and pretty well written. And you know what? I'm not the only one who thinks so. Guy by the name of CR has his own review show called Familiar Faces, which is awesome by the way. And he reviewed the show and put it in a little more positive light than I did. He also got into the more behind-the-scenes stuff involving the cast, the crew, and the production, so if that interests you, then by all means take a look at his review. Also, that guy had the stomach and stones to sit through the entire 1980s version of My Little Pony. Blah. <sighs> yeah, I like the show. It's hard for me to say, but okay. I'm Razmir, and... <coughs> Ugh, God, the words are like poison coming out of my mouth. I hope you enjoy My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for the inevitable shitstorm of hate mail and trolling comments that will inevitably darken my comment page. Until next time, everybody. Later.